While today Halloween is synonymous with commercialism, it wasn't always that way. The word Halloween comes from the words hollow, meaning holy person, and Eve, deriving as a contraction of Eve. And All Hallows Eve finds its origins all the way back in the time of the ancient Celtic pagans with the holiday of Samhain, a three-day fire festival that essentially celebrated death and rebirth. The Celts, who lived in what is now Ireland, Scotland, the UK, and parts of Northern Europe, based their calendar on the wheel of a year, essentially divided into two halves, the light and the dark. When one gave way to the other, this transition was marked by a fire festival. The word Samhain translates into modern Irish to summer's end. Samhain celebrated the dead, and particularly the celebratory feast paid homage to loved ones who had passed away recently, essentially as an invitation for their spirits to rejoin the living. Many of Samhain's original rituals have been lost, but what we do know of their holiday traditions from Celtic folklore and ancient Roman historians is that they were intended to connect them to spirits, including costumes, most likely animal or furs, to help them hide from the unfriendly ones, feasting, and making lanterns from hollowed out gourds, seemingly the birth of the modern pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. Sacrifices, generally of crops or animals, were made during this time as an offering to the spirits. It was popular for tricks or pranks to be played by humans and blamed on mischievous spirits. I miss the old Kanye, straight from the gold Kanye, chop up his soul Kanye, sit on his goals Kanye. I gotta call you back, Kanye. <laughs> What's good, brother? How you doing? What's good, Justin? How you doing? I'm good, man. I got a little problem. I got a little conundrum, though. What's your conundrum? I got all this money and I have no idea what to do with it. How much you got? A dollar. Oh my goodness. Have you come to the right person, Justin? Well, that's what I like to hear. Yes. So, you say you got a dollar? Yeah. That's perfect because starting October 18th, we're gonna be selling Halloween grams. Uh, at the lunch tables. No way. Yes, and you say you got a dollar? Yeah. You, that's perfect. You could be sell, buying one for a dollar. That's 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 great. That's amazing. But, what like, if I want to get one that's more expensive? What if I have two more? Yeah, dollars? we all want to feel rich sometimes. Don't worry. So if you want to feel a little bit rich, you want to splurge a little bit, uh, you can get the three dollar version as well. It comes with a little gift basket with a little candy and everything, and you can, it comes with a balloon you can get for your friend. Oh, so what's but what's in the one dollar package? Well, the one dollar package comes with a little note you could write to your friend. And it comes with a little candy you could give to them as well. Oh, that's that's great. I'm gonna go buy you one, you, my boy. You can you can buy me one. I'm gonna go buy you one, my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got you, bro. Well, I'll you. see you, man. Wait, you know where to buy it, right? The lunch table, right? Yeah, the lunch, not the, the lunch front table. office, not your teacher's classroom. Don't be asking your teachers. No. The, the lunch, lunch tables. tables at lunch. I want you guys all there buying. I want to see it sold out. All right. I don't want to see none of them left. All right. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, look who's going. Oh, look who else is gonna buy one? I'm gonna get one. Yes, he is. <laughs> the last day to buy Halloween grams is tomorrow. Yo, 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 what's good? I'm Captain Macaro. This is your boy Brandon here to spread some news to y'all. This might look like a normal hallway. You guys might walk past it every single day. And this might look like a normal door. You guys might see it every single day. But October 29th, we're gonna have trick or treating in this hallway. You gotta be wearing a full decked out costume like it's actually Halloween. We're gonna have Halloween at the school, trick or treat and everything. And these doors are gonna be fully decorated and your four spirit class can also do a door decorating contest. And the winner, person with the best door, fully decorated, gonna get a root beer flow party. October 29th, mark your calendars. See y'all then. If you plan on dressing up on October 29th to participate in the trick or treating activities, please make sure to abide by all dress code rules, including no masks that cover your entire face and no weapons. Hey guys, my name is Myron Ramirez and I'm the club president for the El Capitan Esports Club. The Esports Club is a club that participates and competes in games all around the United States and up to Canada in some cases. We have a wide variety of games to offer. We play games such as Super Smash Bros, Rocket League, League of Legends, Valorant, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six Siege, Minecraft, and many more. We would love to have your company and for you to join us here at lunch on Wednesdays, room 27. Let me repeat that. Room 927 at lunch on Wednesdays.
right now, currently, we are looking for Rainbow Six Siege players, but there is an age restriction for only 16 and above. We are looking for both PC and console players. Congratulations to our girls volleyball team who went undefeated in league and will be moving on to their first round of CIFs next week. As we head into CIF play, just make sure that you know that tickets can only be purchased on GoFan. Only digital tickets can be sold. ASB cards and staff passes do not work at CIF playoff games. So please, if you plan to attend, create a GoFan account and buy your tickets ahead of time. This Friday, we have senior night for our football team, cheerleaders, and band. We want you to bring it on, not just for our last home game, but for our seniors. Our barnyard theme for that night is neon, and the section will also have a DJ. We want you to not only come your best neon gear, but best El Cap spirit. El Cap prides themselves on not just our teams, but our sportsmanship. Let's bring on the original positive barnyard energy this game. Vaqueros, AP exams are on sale now. Cost is $96 per exam, and you can pay in person at the finance office or online at the web store. Those of you who qualify for the fee reduced exam of $15, you must fill out the fee waiver form and pay in person only at the finance office. Just make sure that you are registered for your AP class. If you don't have a class and need to just take the exam, please see Mrs. O'Mara in the library. Codes are found on the AP website. So first, make sure you're signed in on College Board and then pay for your exam at the finance office or on the web store. The GUHSD deadline is Friday, November 5th. If you have any questions, contact Mrs. O'Mara at her email or in person at the library. Come visit the AP website by visiting our website using the QR code or going directly by typing in bit.do forward slash LCAP AP. Yo, what's good, I'll capture your Brandon here to spread some inspiration to y'all. I know some of y'all been feeling down lately that school started. We all in the same boat here. I'm here to give you guys a little inspirational quote, open your mind a little bit. Uh, my guy Kanye West once said, I'm not comfortable with comfort. I'm only comfortable being in a place where I'm learning and growing. You gotta think about it like that, cause like, listen, you can't be comfortable right away, cause then you're putting yourself in a little shell. That's like, okay, I'm comfortable. I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna open my mind. I don't wanna get out of this box, you know? can't be doing that to yourself because then you won't want to do new things and overachieve you'd be like okay i achieve what i get i'm comfort no you got to be comfortable with a place that you're learning and you're growing mentally and physically that's how you got to live life and my guy kanye you guys all know kanye west even if you don't like him you know him you know why because he's a genius and that's why i like taking my quotes from him i like to aspire my mindset around his mindset he said if you comfortable look if you're comfortable in a place right now you're not gonna wanna be wanna grow and learn because you're comfortable. You can't be putting yourself in that shell comfort, you can't. You gotta be learning, growing more every day. Even when you're 82, you gotta be growing and learning and growing and learning. You can't be always, you can never be comfortable, ever. That's all, that's all I wanted to say, you guys. Um, hey boy, Brennan here. Thank you, we out. Have a great day, Al Cap.